The long and winding road that was the Liberal leadership campaign reaches its terminus in Ottawa at the Weston Hotel on Sunday. The Liberals will announce who the new leader will be. Our senior parliamentary reporter Mark Dunn is standing by or maybe sitting on pins and needles waiting to find out who could possibly be the one. No, I'm not sitting on pins and needles, Brian. I mean, <laughs> you watching? They got some of this stuff here. <laughs> I, but, I'm seeing this. But, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Brian. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I want to see tomorrow night uh, at the big celebration. I want to see party hats. I want to see drink. I want to. I want to be having a rip, rare, and good time. The Liberals are finally going to have a leader. A new leader after two years of the interim Bob Ray. That's what I'm looking for tomorrow night. Balloons, confetti, you name it. Panda bears, if we can get one of those in there, Brian. Let's bring it all down. You have the best props. You really do. Well, you know. Well, you know, if we're going to be talking about a celebration, a coronation, or whatever you want to call it, obviously we're thinking Justin Trudeau is going to be the man tomorrow when uh, all the bells and whistles are put away and the vote ballots are counted. <clears throat> Does he have the weight to stand toe to toe with Mr. Mulcair, who we just saw make his reconfirmation speech, and of course our Prime Minister Stephen Harper? Well, I mean, that's really going to be uh, it's the million-dollar question at the end of the day. Of course, Mr. Harper's a seasoned uh, a politician. Mr. Mulcair has got, brings a lot of you know, uh, experience from, from his, his days in, in the Quebec government. And of course, he's been leader now uh, for, for about uh, just a li little over a, a year. So at least he's been tested in, in, in the House of Commons. Of course, uh, Mr. Trudeau hasn't really been in the House of Commons much when he's not doing his $20,000 a night public speaking tours. He's been campaigning around the country uh, for the last uh, six months trying to woo supporters, if you will. Uh, and that's going to be uh, his test beginning Monday when he, if he pulls this thing off uh, tomorrow evening at the Weston Hotel where uh, the officials tell me there'll be about a thousand people there at the hotel. About 5.53 tomorrow evening they'll actually announce the results uh, of voting. Former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, I guess you could describe him as the keynote speaker and uh, the winner will, will speak right after the votes are announced for 20 or 25 minutes. So uh, there's a lot of work uh, for Mr. Trudeau ahead. We don't really know how much time he will spend in the House of Commons going forward over the next two years because you know he's got to find candidates with some star candidates Brian, uh, for the 2015 campaign the party's in a structural mess they don't have much of an organization more than a hundred riding associations that's going to be exacerbated by the, uh, the fact there'll be 30 new ridings in 2015 funding is sporadic their their lifeline of the per vote subsidy is slowly drying up so uh, there's a lot of work to do and I'm just hopeful the party doesn't put all the weight on on Trudeau's shoulders and they actually get down and roll up their sleeves and do, do, do some work because if they don't, one of the first tasks if I were Mr. Trudeau would take a broom to party headquarters here in Ottawa. Mark, the machinery of politics uh, takes a lot of oil. Oil costs money. Does this party have the money to wage what it takes uh, to get to the political fracas that is an election in two years' time? Uh, no, no, they don't. I mean, frankly, you know, a lot of some uh, media reports wrongly, I would argue, talk about how much money Mr. Trudeau's raised for the party. Well, he hasn't. He's raised money for his campaign. Uh, these folks on the trail were allowed to spend uh, just under a million dollars. He, he may uh, give the party a two or three hundred thousand bucks at the end of it. None of the other candidates uh, will give money to the party because they've got their own debts incurred. The party's incurred debts on this campaign, you know, staging these debates, these showcases, sending party officials across the country, hotels, transportation food costs, those sort of things. And again, losing the, the lifeline of the Liberal financing has been the per vote subsidy, but that's going to be one of Mr. Trudeau's big jobs. We'll, we'll be go out there, hit the hustings, and try to raise money for this party. If they want to run a, a counter-attack ad campaign against the Conservatives or the NDP for that matter, they couldn't do that uh, right now. They don't have the money to buy a primetime ad buy. Yeah, they could put together some kind of YouTube uh, thing or something on, on their party website, but that's not going to cut it when you go up against a seasoned attack machine like the Conservatives. Mark, all I can say was thanks for this. Hey, anytime. Appreciate it. That was <laughs> our <laughs> Talk to you later. You bet. Our senior parliamentary reporter, Mark <clears throat> Dunn, celebrating in Ottawa.